guys down here in the LSU locker room with one of the true freshmen that made an impact this season in Jarvis Landry. And Jarvis, I guess, the feeling right now, if you can put it into words for us, a, a magical season comes up just short. Um, <clears throat> first of all, you know, I just want to say congratulations to a great Alabama football team. You know, uh, we did everything we could, you know, throw all the our punches that we had at them. Uh, but they were more, they, they came out and, you know, just kind of, kind of took over the game. Um, but uh, as far as this season, you know, uh, it's not quite the ending that you would expect, you know, uh, but definitely it's a motivation, you know, to take into the next season and on uh, for the rest of my career. This game in particular, what was the difference in your opinion and, and why do you think the offense just, just couldn't get it going tonight? Um, there, there are numerous reasons. I mean, uh, numerous times the Alabama D-line was calling out our cadence, which caused us to have a lot of forced thoughts, putting us behind the sticks early in downs, you know, uh, not being able to get in the rhythm, you know, and uh, that kind of threw us off a little bit in the first first half, uh, definitely. But, um, you know, uh, we just didn't just, just ex execute. That was the biggest thing. And, uh, and I feel like if we'd execute a little bit better, you know, um, things would have went a lot smoother. But I feel like, you know, that's something that we can work on in the spring, you know, and going into next fall, that uh, if we just come together and be able to prepare better, that uh, nights like this won't happen again. As a true freshman, realizing you have three years left here and realizing that there is a ton of talent still in this room and coming back next season along with a tremendous recruiting class again, I guess what's the, uh, what's the feeling like moving forward? Um, actually, I think that's something a lot of people don't understand. You know, uh, we got a lot of guys coming back next year, you know, and uh, hopefully a lot of juniors that uh, made the clear, hope, you know, hopefully they have this bitter taste in their mouth and make them want to come back too. Um, but with that said, like I said, it takes, it's, it's, a, it's a motivation that we take it to the next, 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 uh, next season. And uh, definitely we'll be ready and uh, we'll be in Miami next year. You guys all stayed together, and uh, as far as this quarterback uh, kind of uh, back and forth rotation throughout the year, was there at any time that you, you thought that, that Jarrett was going to come in this football game? Um, honestly, I was, honestly, I didn't. I don't know. I mean, uh, I kind of leave that to the coaching staff. You know, I felt uh, with time, you know, Jordan could have made a few more plays, um, and he did for us with his feet. Um, but still, in all, you know, I feel like the coaches should trust the Jordan to make the decisions that he made, and uh, you know. Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta just live with what you live with what you got. Jarvis Landry has tasted victory here in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome with the national national championship. Not quite tonight, but a state championship with those Letcher Bulldogs. And we wish you the best. Thanks for your time. Thank you. God bless. Guys, back to you outside. It, uh, it was a heartbreaking loss today. It was a tough one, but guys like Jarvis Landry can just tell us that uh, the future still looks bright, mighty bright for those LSU Tigers.